hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing really really well in today's video i have a makeup review video it's not really a review video it's more like a first impression slash try on video and the brand that i'm gonna try today in this video is from tom ford yes by the title of this video you guys have guessed it i will be trying out the tom ford concealer now a little bit of story of tom ford i have never tried Tom Ford products at all. I have tried it on my back of my hands, but I've never actually tried it on my face. Like I talk about all the products in terms of the makeup, like foundation, powders, or concealers. And I really, really wanted to try this out. Uh, I had actually really good reviews regarding this concealer, and I actually also want to try out the foundation within this line. In today's video, I'll be doing a first impression with this concealer, and also I will be doing an all day wear test. I feel like these kind of videos are really, really popular, and I actually really like to watch them as well, personally. So if I do this, I'm sure you guys will enjoy this as well in terms of the longevity, if it creases. Now, regarding creasing, I have a, do have a really, really bad issue with concealers that no matter what I do, I always get creased um, underneath because I do have fine lines. I have literally zero Botox in here, which this will be changed very soon, hopefully this year. But I uh, do get creases in, under my eyes and so on. However, in terms of the like dark circles, I touch wood don't really suffer with dark circles at all. I only got fine lines in here. And that's about it. So today I'm just wearing my moisturizer, my eye cream, and that's about it. I've done my brows, uh, but no foundation, nothing at all, because I want to try this bad boy out. And the name of this concealer is the Shape and Illuminate Concealer. This is how it looks like. This is the packaging. If I can, I'm going to insert some close-ups on the screen as well. I really like the Tom Ford packaging. This is how it looks like. I love the kind of brown embossed like logo. It's got a really lovely texture. So the packaging and so on is super, super luxurious, obviously. And if you open it up, it feels very, very heavy. It's made in Italy. Um, and you guys, dun, 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 dun. this is how the concealer looks. It looks super sleek. I am honestly giving this brand a a, oops, a, a star in packaging because the packaging looks so beautiful. Look at this kind of geometric square. Not geometric, what am I talking about? What I meant to say is I like the kind of pointy squares, like it looks like a cupid basically. Uh, very lovely, very different and I just love it. Love the brown tones with the gold together and you can see also the concealer shade, what shade you are. I am shade, where is the packaging? I am shade Acru. Hopefully, this is the right shade for me. It's 1W0. So, let's see if it's the right shade. Really, really hoping it's the right shade. And yeah. So, what is the main purpose of this concealer? Basically, it's a medium buildable waterproof formula merging three dimensional skincare. Uh, so, it's got the radiance infused with hyaluronic acid. This crease proof concealer moisturizes, smooths, and observes redness, dark under eye circles and fine lies, creating a flawless base for a shape and illuminate soft radiance foundation. All right guys, so I zoomed you guys a little bit closer. Sorry for the imperfections on my face at the moment, but I must say my skin is in very, very good condition. And yeah, these are my under eyes. Is my camera in focus? Sorry if I get in and out of focus because this camera is literally driving me insane but let's just get into this review. I got the concealer in here but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open it up and put some little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh, wow. Packaging feels super luxurious, super nice and wow. So this is how the Dofa applicator looks like, very nice and pointy. i put a little bit in here to see if the color is correct. Hmm, it's a bit peachy. So this is how the color looks like. It's a bit peachy, a bit pink. I'm gonna see how it blends. It blends very, very nice and evenly onto my skin. Can you guys see that? And what I'm gonna do, I got literally my finger is covered. I'm gonna just apply it. Wow, the formula is very, very creamy, very easy to apply, and it smooths out very nicely under my eyes. And uh, wow like within a minute like my under eyes were all vanished the dark circles um 
let me put some a little bit more you guys can see I'm gonna put a bit more to really really highlight and illuminate how the concealer basically says can you guys see the before and after this side of my eye looks nice and brightened and this side is obviously the little bit of a dull side but uh, can you guys see the difference? I'm looking in the viewfinder and I can't really tell because I got the studio lights and also natural light but in the mirror I can definitely see that this eye obviously I need to blend this part a little bit more out so sorry I need let me get my beauty blender let me blend this part out a little bit more wow 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 guys I had to change the location a little bit to the window because the light in my camera watch is getting a bit orangey for some reason I don't know why but can you guys see can you guys see the difference like the under eyes the dark circles are gone the dark circles are gone my under eyes they especially oh, it looks very nice and highlighted very nice and brightened like you know like awakening this concealer is really good. First impression is really, really, really good. Can you guys see? There is literally no kind of creases or anything. It's just very, very nicely smoothed out and blended into my skin. Wow. I'm absolutely loving this. Loving this so much. It looks so good in the viewfinder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to obviously set this with my lovely, lovely powder from Tilbury, from Charlotte. I'm gonna just set in the under eyes very quickly because I have to give this concealer a fair shot. So I'm just gonna put some powder in here. Right. Powder is done. I'm all powdered up. So this is how it looks. I'm so sorry for this camera, honestly. So, so far for the first instant like impression, I really like this at the moment. So let's see how it performs. So what I'm gonna do, the time is now 2.30. I'm gonna do a full day wear test and check in with you guys throughout the day and give you guys the updates about the concealer and the performance. Hello guys, the time is now 4 o'clock I think, yes. And I thought I'm gonna give you guys a quick one hour check in on the concealer. Let's have a look. I mean I did have a quick glance in the mirror and I was like oh my god, wow. Can I see there's literally no creases at the moment. Look how kind of the light illuminates. Can you guys see the sheen? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I'm actually speechless. Like, I've never had a concealer like that. It's literally zero creases. My under eyes, they look nice and moisturized. And wow. Apart from my hair looking very disheveled, my under eyes, they look really good. Literally no dark circles, no creases, it looks super amazing and I'm gonna do another check-in later on as well. Alright guys, so the time is now 7pm and I feel like I'm gonna do the check-in now and I'm gonna leave the check-in now for today and come with my final thoughts and with the final conclusion and with the final check-in. So this is me with no studio lights, this is just natural lights from the windows. Can you guys see my under eyes? Oh my god. Okay, this has to be hands on one of the best concealers I have ever tried. It is super super hydrating. Can you guys see there's only one little line in here. Okay, maybe two now. Can you guys see there's just two lines in here which are actually my fine lines. Like this is really up and close and personal. I'm growing my eyebrows by the way. Uh, so this is just the one line I could see but if you look at this side there nothing is there on the lines nothing is smudged and so on and I did put a lot of powder can you guys see I did not touch it at all obviously if I do this it kind of blends in and, and also kind of fades away and uh, in general you guys can see that look at the light can you see the reflection? There is still light and like a highlight. The, obviously the name of this, what is it again? Uh, shade and illuminate. It has again this kind of illumination of luminosity of like a glance under my eyes. Which I like so much and I've never had this before with a concealer. Like the one concealer that I'm using at the moment which was from Tarte. The Tarte Shape Tape. If you don't like thick concealers then do not get this at all. 
I actually don't know what the hype is. Yes, the coverage is good, but it's very thick. And I don't need that for my under eyes. Like, it's one of my softest and one of my, my thinnest skin. And I don't need this kind of thick concealer under my eyes. Especially, I don't really need it. This is great. Like, one little, like, dot covered the whole eye. And, um, oats is not creasing. It's not, like, you know, it doesn't fade away. And it's just amazing. Let me turn on my light in here, which I just got. Da -da -da. With the studio lights, you guys can see. So you guys can see it with the studio lights. Like, look at that. Look at this concealer. Wow. The shade is amazing. I'm in the shade Acru 1W0. It's just so good. Just so, so good, you guys. I mean, I'm really, really, like, stunned with this concealer. How amazing it looks. Let me turn off my light because I don't really need that. Yes, it's getting very dark. You guys can see my camera is adjusting. It's getting very dark. So, yes. Um, overall thoughts regarding concealer. Would I recommend this concealer? 100%. Definitely go... Sorry about the messy bed. My laptop was just in there. I was editing, actually, a video. Um... Definitely go and get this concealer. It's so good. Yes, it's in the pricey side. It's You get 5.4 ml, which is 18 fluid ounces. It's a beautiful brand. It's a beautiful packaging. It's, it's a beautiful concealer. And the product actually works. Uh, this retails for £58. Yes, I know. It's super expensive for a concealer. Like £58, you can get a foundation. Or you can get basically two foundations. Well, yeah, sort of basically, if it makes sense. But £58 is quite expensive for this concealer. Bear in mind, I think the foundations are around £100, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a super luxurious concealer, and it's definitely worth it. I mean, you definitely pay for the packaging, for the brand, and for the lovely product. Um, and I cannot wait to try this out more. So this was it with this review video of the Tom Ford shade and illuminate concealer so i hope you guys found this video all informative and helpful so if you enjoyed it then please give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these if there's any other suggestions you guys want me to do then please do let me know in the comments down below right i'm gonna go now thanks so much for watching i will see you very soon in my next video bye